Hey guys, Steve, KO4FL, and today I'm going to test some bandpass filters for one of my club members. You've probably seen these filters in some of the other guys' videos, uh, but I've got my Nano VNA and Nano VNA Saver set up here. Let's take a look and see how everything looks here on the workbench. And I've got the Nano VNA set up with an S21 log mag uh, where I'm squirting the signal out the 1 1 port and I'm bringing it in the 2 1 port, which is why, yes, the filter's upside down. But let's run a sweep here and I'll sweep it on the, VNA, on the Nano VNA saver. Look in here, the low point on the filter for his 40 meter filter is at 7.23. Uh, return loss is about 38 dB and the VSWR is 1.024. Looks like that's well within spec, slightly outside the band, but not terrible. Let's go to the low end of the band. Insertion VSWR is still 1.1. The return loss is, looks like negative 22 dB. I think he'll be satisfied with that. Let's move up to the 20 meter filter. And take a look. Because I think he's got 40, 20, 15, and 10 as his filters. And then I've got a set that I'm going to test in a, another video that I bought for the club from C3 Electronics. So keep an eye out for that video as well. So for his 20 meter filter, let me change parameters here on the VNA. There you go. 12 megahertz on the start. And 20 meg on the finish. And we'll sweep that. Now this one looks like it's outside of the band by a good bit. The low VSWR is 1.01 .01 and 45 dB of return loss but that's at 14.72 in the band 14.32 we're at 21 dB of loss and a 1.19 SWR to 1.3 uh, SWR at 1400 and a return loss of negative 17 dB. That filter needs a little bit of help. Um, we may open that up if I get permission from my buddy to see if we can't tune that up a little bit. So now let's move up to his 15 meter filter. and take a look at how that one is. Start frequency of 18 meg, and a stop frequency, let's say 26 megahertz. Do a quick sweep there. And 
And this one as well looks like it's a good bit outside the band. In the band, we're looking at 21.04, the SWR is 2.03, which is outside of the specs on this one. And return loss is only 9 dB. Uh, the high end of the band at 21.44, we're down to 1.7, and return loss of 11 dB. So, not great. The low point on this filter is actually up at 22.56 megahertz. Uh, SWR is 1.2, and return loss is seven, almost 18 dB. So, not not great but again that one could probably be tweaked a little bit and see if we couldn't get it in closer and let's step up to the 10 meter filter i think these would work for like a club setting photo outing um, and I'm pretty sure these are the same filters that came off of AliExpress. So, take that for what you will on quality. Not knocking it, because I personally don't own a set. Um, I just haven't spent the money yet. Alright, so for the 10 meter filter, let's start this one at 22 meg and we'll end it at 32 meg do a sweep here well let's actually take it up a little more there we go now we can see the whole thing so I changed it up to 42 meg on the stop frequency. And again, this filter is just outside the band. Uh, frequency of 30 megahertz. SWR is 1.1 and return loss is 22 and a half dB. Once we get into the band, looking at a 1.2 SWR and a 19 dB loss down to 2.0 SWR and a 9 dB return loss on 10 meter. So again, maybe just a little bit of tweaking on that might help that out. But I'm going to get these filters back to him and with these results, see what he thinks. And if, he if we want to play with them, maybe he'll let me make a video on doing that. But that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Check out some other filters. 73.